Before we get into this, if you hear anything in the background, it is my computer overheating, okay? I've been playing a lot of video games lately. I mean, we're quarantined, so what else am I supposed to do? But yeah, welcome back to yet another video on the channel. My name is Matic, and firstly, I want to say I'm probably going to change my name from Matic Place to, I don't know, Matic or iMatic or something like that. I don't really know yet. Yeah, it will be changing soon, just so you know, because I don't actually actually do those you know GTA 5 videos anymore I am a commentary channel I'm a full commentary channel right now so yeah I'm gonna be changing my name that's that's something to say and also I tweeted recently if I should delete my dad server or not and you guys actually chose not to delete it so yeah that's kind of good I guess but yeah server is there so you guys could actually send me some video ideas and that would actually be pretty helpful right now because I'm kind of running out of those so yeah be sure to join my server link is in the description down below go click it join my server and give me some video ideas or I don't know just DM me on any social media but yeah all this aside today we're going to be talking about these fake storytelling animation channels that are just hmm how to put it now Nicely, full of shit and lies because it's pretty much all fake at this point but somehow they pull up so many views on videos like my older sister wants me or like my grandpa got me pregnant three times or maybe for example I had a female prisoner living in my basement so basically if you don't already get it it's either sexual or just practically impossible I mean it's not impossible but come on dude it's just so fake like I had a prisoner in my basement yeah sure well Whatever, bro. But yeah, get your bleach ready, because today we're going to be taking a look at this video called I Heard Strange Sounds from My Neighbor's House. By the way, have you thought that those noises might not be that strange? It's probably just his dad beating him with a belt. Yeah, it happened to all of us. But yeah, let's get right into it. Hi, I'm Jenny, and during the last week, I learned the hard way how cute guys can be full of surprises. Yes, of course. I mean, they are people too. Like, you think that ugly people and cute people are like two different species and do different things? Like, dude, anyone can be full of surprises. It doesn't really matter if you're cute or not and if you're a dog or a fucking octopus. That didn't make any sense, but okay. I will explain right away. But let me tell you a bit about myself first. Okay, why is this bitch hanging from the ceiling right now? Like, are you a vampire or something? I live with my parents in your typical nice American neighborhood. Yeah, a nice American neighborhood. Okay, that was obviously a joke. Most of my neighbors are seniors who are obsessed with taking care of their garden and who have hearing issues. So you must have an idea about the amount of boredom I was suffering throughout my life. No kids to play with, no barbecue gatherings, no house parties, just nothing. Yeah, that pretty much explains why you are where you are right now, on this fake channel. You must have been so bored. I was a total loner, but at least I had my fluffy dog, Munchkins, who kept me company. But that all changed the day Mr. Ben, my neighbor, passed away at 70 years old. I can't say his death affected me. He was a grumpy old man who scared the hell out of me. So I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda happy he finally died. But what actually caught my attention was the hot guy who moved to Mr. Ben's house the day after. I was looking outside my window when I saw him carrying in his stuff. And oh my, he had his shirt off as he was moving stuff inside. The sight of his sweaty muscles almost made my eyes tear up. Oh my god, the sweat. I mean, nothing better than sweaty guys, am I right? Like, that sweat turns me mm, so much. Like, I just want to drink it. Okay, so if you're still here and I didn't make you so uncomfortable to the point that you left, then congrats. You achieved a true subscriber reward or something. I don't know. No, but like, for real, this girl is about to fucking cry. Like, is this her first time seeing a guy without a top? Like, come on. Plus, this man is carrying a box, one single box, and he's sweating so much, and he's squeezing every single muscle in his body. Like, goddamn, what is in those boxes? And my mouth water. I was about to scream. I think I even peed myself a little. Okay, okay, what the fuck? This is weird. No need to go on full Onision mode on all of us. <laughs> 
<laughs> goddamn, you must have been such a lonely goddamn girl. I just realized I used goddamn like two goddamn times in that sentence. Goddamn. I know, I sound stupid, but you can't blame me, guys. I used to see grumpy old Mr. Ben. These animations are so poorly made. They didn't even consider the fact that this girl is still like a girl. Like she had to go to school somewhere. But I don't know. Maybe the schools in her area only had grumpy old people in them. If that makes any sense. And now the view changed 180 degrees. Oh, that explains why this bitch is upside down. Lucky me. Anyway, I decided to pluck up my courage and go ask my new hot neighbor if he needed help with moving in. I went to his front yard to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Jenny. I live next door. I laughed awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Jenny. I'm a hot lonely lonely girl swings her hair and gets naked wanna keep me some company okay okay i'm going too far but who watches this animation the people who do must be even sadder than the people who made them and that is extremely rare like you cannot go lower than this the hot guy smiled and reached to me for a handshake and said hello i'm tommy nice to meet you neighbor i started to laugh awkwardly and asked him if he needed any help me talking with boys was not my best attribute, I'll admit that. He told me that he didn't need any help, but he'd love to chat. Sit and chat with me, because I needed a break anyway. I gladly agreed. I sat and started mumbling all kinds of things about myself that I shouldn't have said. I told him about my skin acne, school, how it's boring to be an only child, and when I noticed that he was not responding or paying any attention to me, I said while laughing awkwardly, why don't you tell me about yourself? Bitch, this guy is in a tough position, like put yourself in his shoes, he just wants to move those boxes and a weird fucking retarded upside down looking ass girl runs up to him and all of a sudden starts to ask these weird ass questions and then starts to talk about herself, like give him some break, if that guy would be me, I would straight up KO your ass. That was a joke by the way, I don't beat women, I only beat my meat. But he dismissed me by saying that he needed to get back to work. I definitely scared him away. That's what I thought. I went back to my house, but I wasn't going to give up. That guy is going to be my boyfriend no matter what. I deserve something interesting to happen in my life. And that's how everything started. My bedroom window was across from his, and I've seen in movies how guys like to look at girls through windows. Yeah, that's true, guys. I, I gotta... I gotta confess this, all I do is look at pretty girls outside my window. God damn, I'm bored, what should I do? Hmm, guess it's time for the daily routine if you know what I'm saying. Like who does that? that that's only movies, of course. So I put on some music and I wore my pretty dress and started dancing around, hoping that Tommy would notice me. I danced and danced and looked out my window, but Tommy never seemed to even bother to look at mine. Dude, he was just too busy getting that war zone victory, like can you stop bothering him? All he wanted was that one sweet sweet W. And then there's this bitch who just keeps on disturbing him with her music, like just please turn it down a little, or I don't know, earphones are a thing too. That guy was definitely hard to get. The next day was Saturday. I baked some cookies and took munchkins and knocked on his door. Welcome to the neighborhood, I screamed as he opened. Tommy looked bothered to hear my loud tone. My guy was up all night trying to get that sweet victory and now he's exhausted. And you come up to him so early in the morning, like my guy probably just finished beating his meat. Pow, pow, pow. Or was he annoyed to see me? Um, thanks, I guess. He mumbled as he took the cookies. So, can I come in? I asked with a stupid smile on my face. But as usual, he brushed it off. He said that he just woke up and that he needed to get some rest. I gave it another shot while holding munchkins. Do you want to pet my doggo? He's not afraid of strangers. Um, maybe some other time, Tommy said. And then he shut the door in my face. Oh my god, I think I just ruined all the chances I had with him. When was I going to learn how to talk to hot guys? I needed a plan. The next week, I started taking munchkins outside and deliberately walked in front of Tommy's house for munchkins to take a poop. I usually let my mom take him, but I needed to accidentally bump into Tommy, if you know what I mean. But something was really weird about this guy. He never left his house. 
Oh yeah, that doesn't even seem weird to me, like I don't even leave my house either, regardless if I'm quarantined or not, boy I be self isolating for 15 years now, like why would I go outside if I can chill in a discord call with my friends? Bruh, you really telling me I should go outside? Outside in the nature? Under the sun? Bruh, fuck the sun, like get the f*** out of here, bruh. But I wonder if this is how girls see me, as the guy who never leaves his house. I don't know, dude. I don't really care, to be honest. I actually do. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really lonely guy. But yeah, this is probably a good time to wrap up today's video, and if you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a fat thumbs up and subscribe, plus comments are always welcome on this channel, and if you guys managed to make it all the way through this video, be sure to comment spaghetti just so I know that you made it all the way to the end, and yeah, if you guys have any videos you want me to make a commentary on, then be sure to join my Discord server and send videos there, or I don't know, my DMs are always open on other social media um so follow me on those links are all in the description down below and i know this might not be the best video i have ever made but i do have some pretty good ones on the channel so be sure to watch them and subscribe you already know how it is so yeah i'm medic and i'll see you guys in the next one peace peace